Hi guys, this is Grey Duck from Pi Labs. We've released an update for Twister OS that adds some feature improvements as well as makes a couple fixes. So the first improvement that we've made is to the login screens. So the login screen for the Raspbian X Nighthawk Edition theme was originally designed for 1080p screens and didn't scale very well to other resolutions. So it's been completely redesigned and will now rescale to any display resolution. And the iRaspian login screen has been updated as well. Another feature improvement is the addition of a new application launcher for the iRaspian theme. The application that was used in our initial iRaspian release called Slingscold has been completely redeveloped by the original developer of Slingscold, Juan Pablo. We want to give him a big thank you for all of his work on this project for Twister OS. The original Slingscold launcher had an issue where if an app ran in terminal, it wouldn't be able to launch from Slingscold. That's been addressed this time around. And all of the apps on your Raspberry Pi should now be able to run directly from Lightpad, which is the name of the new launcher. If you have a previous version of Twister OS installed, you can go to our website to download a patch that will bring you up to version 1.2. The full download image for Twister OS on the website has also been updated to version 1.2, so if you're downloading the image from scratch, you don't need to patch anything. To download the patch, click on the Twister OS 1.2 patch link on the website. Once downloaded, extract the contents of the downloaded zip file to somewhere on your home directory. Open a terminal from the window where the files have been extracted. Then type chmod plus x 1-2 patch install dot sh and hit enter. Then type dot slash 1-2 patch install dot sh and hit enter. Once it's completed, you'll be prompted to reboot. Go ahead and do so, and then the patch will be installed. After patching, in the iRaspian theme, you'll notice that the new application launcher icon is all the way to the right of the dock. To change that, just click and hold on the icon and drag it over to the right position. One last thing, be sure to check out the new README file on the desktop. A number of updates have been made and will likely answer any questions that you have. Thanks guys, see you next time.